welcome everybody to the video today so doing something a little different today uh, we've got my brother-in-law here today he's got his Jeep and uh, what we are doing on this today um, well and you've probably heard of all the cold weather we are getting here in Canada and I guess in most of the the, the states as well but uh, they're calling it the polar vortex it's actually winter <laughs> I don't know why they're calling it the polar vortex but anyway uh his blower motor actually went out today um on his way to work so it being well we get up to minus 10 celsius today but it mm -hmm. was this morning it was probably minus, minus 22 22 to 24 celsius so it was cold he had a cold drive this morning cold drive back home so uh, we're going to take a look at this and see what we can find out um, we think it's the motor, but we'll show you a couple different things to check to make sure it's it is the motor and uh, Maybe not a resistor or something of that sort. So we'll dive into this and we'll show you what we have So he did order a new motor this is the uh, part number to the blower motor things about sort of this from Napa But it's a direct replacement. But anyway, we're just listening to see what we have here It's blowing, but you can hear it. it. Seems to be working now, but it is noisy. You can hear it. It's uh, yeah. So you can hear it. It's it's working now. It seems it's blowing air, but uh, we'll also grab a light here. Yeah, you can hear it. Does have a bit of a chirp. We'll just grab a light here as well and uh, we got our DeWalt light here so we'll do this ah. but the blower motor is right here definitely making some noise well it is it is a little bit different but it'll still work okay so that's uh, one thing that we should always check as well is the electrical connector to make sure it's actually gonna work in that respect this is a direct replacement um, all it is is that the plug that's on the motor or sorry there's a male plug on the motor itself and the female plug plugs into it um, this has got the female plug on it with a wire and the other one's a male plug so it should plug in without a problem so anyway he's just in here right now you can see where it is we'll get some more light here So it, it is a flathead? Yeah. So there we go. We have, uh, this is the new fan. <laughs> We've got it going. So we're going to just try this old one here. Uh, it's, I don't know. We think it's probably just, well, actually it looks like there's a little bit of rust there. Yeah. So it's probably just got a little bit uh, rusty, really seized up a little bit, things about sort. But uh, yeah, so there's the new one. So the size of that, that torque was, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's a T25. Uh, T25, and it's just easier to use a, uh, a ratchet just to get in there and get those done. But uh, anyway, we'll get you to have a look here. So we are completely finished now. Like I said, three screws, and she's in. There's the old one. Actually, here's our, uh, here's our invoice uh, for the... Uh, for the one, uh, just keep the anyway. Yeah, so you're 184 bucks Canadian. So that's probably only about I don't know 
fifty dollars American right now, <laughs> something like that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, there's the old motor. We taken that out. Didn't work until we got here. The new one, as you can see, she's all installed. We'll just get a zip tie and we'll uh, we'll zip tie this up. But uh, we'll do that and now we'll just give it a shot and see what we have. turned on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. So we got air blowing there. That should be underneath here too. Yep, we got that. And that's going to be all down there. And then that one is down here and up there. That one is all up there, so it works perfectly. Well, there we go. Well, guys, if you do have any questions, let me know. This is very simple uh, thing to do, changing out the blower motor. If it was the resistor, it's just a matter of finding that in that respect. But again, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask. Um, just a reminder as well, I will be having a contest once I hit a thousand subscribers. So uh, stay tuned for that. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.